Anthony Joshua has sent an X-rated response to Tyson Fury after his second round knockout victory over Francis Ngannou in Saudi Arabia on Friday. Speaking to IFL TV, Joshua was asked about Fury's reaction to his knockout and simply replied, Tyson Fury was front row today, applauding from what I was told, I didn't see him, but he was applauding your, your win. I spoke to him after and he said he expected you to do that tonight. Um, yeah, I mean, did you, did you catch a glance at him today, sitting there ringside? Tyson Fury. Okay. You don't want to talk about that, obviously. Nah. I was going to say, you know, I don't like trash talking people, but I heard him say something like, oh, I'm here to do commentary about these two sausages or something like that. Bro, that guy that I fought, that he fought, is an ex-UFC heavyweight champion. A phenomenal story, someone who's changed his life around and he's just so, just too disrespectful, so forget, what, forget anything about him right now. Lennox Lewis also criticizes Tyson Fury for not taking Francis seriously. As I've always said, it's all about the pedigree. AJ did what he was supposed to do and also exposed the difference pedigree and experience make. And before you start talking about Fury, he took Ngannou lightly and almost paid for it. AJ did not. Alexander Usyk's promoter Alex Krasiuk reacts to Anthony Joshua KO to Francis Ngannou by mocking Tyson Fury. He wrote, On X, Anthony Joshua, bro, thanks for showing what boxing really is. Good luck and God bless you. Chael Sonnen continues to elevate his social media troll game, even at the expense of Francis Ngannou, who was knocked out in a boxing match against Anthony Joshua on Friday night. Francis is not only out, he is out cold. You could count to one, or you could count to 100. Fight short, about four minutes in. What does that earn Joshua? Nothing. It's a good win for boxing, and boxing needed one of these, man. This is this is the third time MMA versus boxing. Boxing got embarrassed both times. What should have happened, in all fairness, it should have happened to Connor. Fury should have been able to do this. MMA guys should have got embarrassed. MMA guys should not be able to make it with no experience four minutes. They're not a man alive, no matter how talented, that has never had a wrestling match that could go four minutes with Jordan Burroughs. I mean, that is, that's silly. After the clash between AJ and Enganu, Brown has revealed why Fury put in such a lackluster and uninspiring performance against the former UFC star in November. He stated, I'll tell you the reason now. He never slept for three days on the spin. That was the reason for the bad performance. You can take that how you want, but I was there and saw it all. He couldn't sleep. We've proved that now because we've gone through a new camp and it's wonderful. Marvelous. You can sleep as much as you want. Don't go to sleep for three days. See how you feel. I'm sure you've done that in your party days. Steven Espinoz believes that Anthony Joshua made a statement and shared some controversial post on X. He wrote, Like I've been saying, the Fury Ngannou result said more about Fury than Ngannou, but most people seemed intent on making it about something that it wasn't. Dana White, who has repeatedly expressed his dislike of crossover fights, says Joshua did to Ngannou what Fury should have done when they met at the Battle of the Baddest. You uh, see the match, the boxing match last night? You talked to Eddie after it? I did not. Um, I, I mean, I saw it on, I saw it on social media. Yeah. What did you make of that finish in the Francis fight? What, what do you mean? What did I make? Yeah, what did like, I make like, of it? What you saw, like it was, it was, it was. People are saying it's one of the more violent knockouts in boxing history. Yeah. I mean, going into the Fury fight, if Fury trained for the fight and didn't show up and, you know, look like he ate Tyson Fury. It's probably the way that fight would have ended too. I mean, listen, the crossover, you know how I feel about crossovers in the boxing and that's, that's how they end, just like that. Philip Hergovich also hits out at Tyson Fury that he embarrassed our sport. I'm not so, so impressed. He did, he did what, what he should have do and uh, that's it. Now I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad because of boxing and he, he defended our sport and uh, thanks thanks to Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury did uh, embarrassed our sport with with his performance and I think he was not so ready and he underestimated Nogano so much and he was not in great shape but Joshua defended color colors of our sport and thanks to him you know according to Frank Warren Fury had a front row view of the knockout, and he was dazzled by the showing. Warren stated he was very impressed. As you say, I was next to him there, and he was cheering him on. We were both cheering him on as we wanted him to come through, and needless to say, he came through in style. AJ, he's got a new trainer in Ben Davison, and he's obviously getting the best out of him. 
He's had two fights in Saudi Arabia that have got him back into the public eye. The first is against Otto Wallen and the other against Francis Ngannou. And he did what he had to do. But for me, Tyson is the number one heavyweight. He's the lineal champion and he's done it at the highest level. And as I said, on May 18th, we're going to find out who the best heavyweight is when he faces the guy who beat AJ twice, Usyk. KSI also criticizes Tyson Fury and praised Anthony Joshua. KSI wrote on X, Tyson Fury's stock has now dropped tremendously. What a KO Anthony Joshua, you are him. But Eddie Hearn believes that Anthony Joshua is the best heavyweight on the planet. That was one of the most unbelievable performances I've seen. That knockout goes to every news outlet. That knockout goes to every media outlet, every social media account. Anthony Joshua is the baddest man on the planet. And I'm telling you now, he beats everyone in the division. And people now listen to me. They used to listen to me and go, oh, you know it, you know it. You know AJ's the best heavyweight in the world. He's back, baby. He's got all the tools now, the defense, the footwork, the power, the spite. Ben Davis and Lee Wiley, we salute you. We have him. AJ is the goods and the future undisputed heavyweight world champion. Sam Jones praises Anthony Joshua and feels disrespectful to Ngannou. It's, it's just great, but it's also kind of calmed everybody down in this Ngannou thing. And I wasn't trying to be disrespectful to Ngannou. I just had it. The performance against Fury, like nobody foreseen that happening. Do you understand what I mean? No, nobody saw that happening. And like when I said Tyson Fury is going to walk through and gone, it's not competitive. I was wrong, but most people in the world were wrong. Do you understand what I mean? You don't have to be an expert. I don't claim to be an expert. I make predictions. I get some right, I get some wrong. But I was wrong in that one. But I put it down to Tyson having a bad day. And that's no disrespect to Ngannou because I think he boxed out of his skin he had a great night and he was unlucky not to come away with the win um but i just I stuck to my guns i thought anthony josh was gonna smash and 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 that's what happened and i'm happy for boxing really uh i'm happy and garner's getting his paycheck he got up he's a well because that shot like what i said on uh, on twitter this morning that would have knocked a f hippo out on the other hand True Jordy rips into Tyson Fury following the Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou fight. He has proven he deserves what he's got. He deserves those physical attributes and those gifts because he's willing to, to put in the hard work so that the talent he's got is maximized. And do you know who's not willing to do that? Tyson Fury. He's not as brave as AJ. He's not as dedicated as AJ. He's not as hardworking as AJ. And AJ now has left him behind because he stayed dedicated. And as much as it was a bit of a phrase that AJ used to use of stay humble, stay hungry, that's exactly why he is ahead of Fury now. Because Fury didn't stay humble and he didn't stay hungry. And you've seen the way he went on with me and the way he carries himself generally like a twat. And he's certainly not a hungry fighter when he turns up in shape like he did against Francis. Because being a champion is more than just being able to throw punches and all of that, right? And it's funny to see that exposed now because after years of Fury saying, I don't need to fight Usyk, he's just a middleweight. I don't need to fight AJ, he's just a bodybuilder. And then I'm going to go and rematch Derek Chisora for the third time ever and sell you all these tickets for bullshit. It's just exposed it now, hasn't it? Derek Chisora gives a heartfelt speech to Francis Ngannou at the press conference after the Anthony Joshua fight. This is for Francis. You know, Francis, I've been doing lots of interviews, and I came up with a nickname for you. I call you the Superman of Africa because the way you have come up in the game, right. everything yeah. you've done, has been in, in amazing for us Africans. Yeah. And, uh, and I say the best name for, for me to give to you is the Superman of Africa because most kids in Africa right now look up to you. 100%. What you've achieved so far has been unbelievable. Carl Frock said Francis Ngannou should have to stay away from boxing. Ngannou was standing in front of him, being a bit cagey, and he did the most stupid thing that any novice professional could do. He switched southpaw. Francis Ngannou all of a sudden thinks he can switch southpaw. And what do you do against the southpaw? You throw him straight right down the pipe. That's what you do. As an orthodox fighter, a southpaw, you, that right hand is, is just there for him, straight down the middle. So Ngannou done himself up really, but he was slow, he was cumbersome, he was, he was heavy on his feet. He looked really, really slow actually. But AJ, don't take anything away from AJ by the way, AJ was sharp, strong, confident, looking for the right hand counter, and he, he, he fucking landed it, didn't he? Round one he dropped him, little slip, waiting for that l slow, lazy jab. The slow, lazy jab from Ngannou was his undoing. And then he switches southpaw. And then that was the finishing of him because as soon as that first round knockdown came from AJ, which was a beautiful can of right hand straight down the pipe, and Garner was dazed. He did well to get up, but this shows that that 
somebody who's not a professional fighter shouldn't really be in with somebody who's a former two-time heavyweight world champion, a unified champion. Ryan Garcia criticized the Nganu and said it's warning to MMA fighters. He wrote on X, let this be a big warning to MMA fighters. Stop coming to boxing. It will only get worse. It's more even if we just go to your sport. Over. One punch. Sending healing prayers to Francis. Your bravery and guts should be commendable. Congratulations, Anthony Joshua. Fans are also making fun of Joe Rogan's prediction, which he has given before the fight. If I was in Ganu, I would tell him, you're going to make so much money in boxing. Yeah. And I think he might be able to beat them all. I think he's that good. I think he's that much of a freak. Everybody knows what happened in that fight. And what happened in that fight was Francis Ngannou beat the best heavyweight boxer maybe ever. Maybe yeah. ever. Right. And then what happens if he fights all those other guys? Ferguson. What happens? That mother hit so hard. And I was always wondering, like, how is his power with the big gloves on? Well, we f***ing know. Yeah. We f***ing know. And I think he might be able to beat them all. And I think he might be able to beat them all. Ben Davison also shared his opinion of Anthony Joshua's win over Francis Ngannou. Yeah, collectively as a team, we come up with that. Um, I think, um, you know, no, not disrespecting um, Ngannou, but everybody was going on about his chin and we wasn't so sure. Um, it had it been hit by someone who punches like AJ, who was going to set it up like the way that he'd planned to set it up, and um, that's how it happened. The showbiz adult said Anthony Joshua fixes the mess Fury created and shows there are levels in boxing. The jab to the body from AJ. But but Francis got fast reflexes. Look at how he's countering that jab to the body with the left hook. Oh! AJ dropped Francis with a straight right. The first straight right he threw, he dropped Francis. Go ahead, Francis. Oh! Big right hand from AJ. Damn! Francis got a chin. I don't know how Francis took that one. Oh, God! He dropped Francis again with a right hand. Francis ain't getting up from that one. That sh was dumb. AJ hit him like he don't give a shit about his well-being. That's the Terminator AJ we need. Bam! Another right hand. Knock him out. AJ beat the shit out of him like he's supposed to. I told you AJ gonna beat him worse than Fury did. Brutal. Now take your casual ass back to the drawing board and give me my money. I just got paid with my book. I can't believe the odds was like that. Francis Ngannou praised the Anthony Joshua by posting it was not my day on X, and he wrote, Sorry guys, I let you all down. Today was a bad day in the office, but tomorrow will be another day. Thank you all for the love. Before the Anthony Joshua verse, Francis Ngannou Tyson threw some brutal words to Ngannou as he stated, All of his UFC career, he made about $1 million. I made him. It was about $6 million or $7 million. So he should be grateful, really. Instead, I've had to tell him off in front of a load of people. He's having a lot to say on camera after I've given him his biggest payday by about a million times. I don't know. Just like he's an ungrateful After the fight, Tyson Fury reacts to Anthony Joshua's emphatic KO of Francis Ngannou. It was, it was a rude awakening for Ngannou, um, but it, listen, you get a bit cocky like he did, and it, it was what it was, it was what it was. He got knocked out, and that's what a boxer should do to an MMA fighter. So credit to AJ, he did a, uh, he did a, fan, he did a fantastic job. Joshua wasted no time in reiterating his intentions to face the victor after flooring Ngannou in the second round, and on Saturday urged Fury to get in touch and make a deal for one of the biggest fights in British boxing history. He stated, for my career, I feel like wins are just left in the past. You can't dwell on them too long because there's always another challenge coming up, Joshua said, while attending the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. I feel like a win just moves me on to not dwelling in my sorrows too much because a loss isn't nice for anyone. And then in terms of Usyk and Fury, it's really up to them. I'm only a phone call away. Even better, I'm only a tweet away. You can tweet me and we can make a deal. So it will happen. So what do you think about this massive knockout victory of Anthony Joshua against Francis Ngannou? Will Fury fight AJ? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.